The analytics function is a robust tool in CodeBeamer that supports faster and more accurate decision making. It helps you achieve predictability, reliability, and better visibility across teams, projects, and products. Reports make it easy to retrieve and visualize any kind of lifecycle data across projects. You can set up and customize reports in a user-friendly way, and you can also configure the system to automatically send reports to specified roles. Dashboards make it easy to visualize the data in your reports. This way, all your stakeholders always have access to information that is relevant, up-to-date, and easy to digest. So let's see how this works out in practice. In this example, I'm managing a project to deliver an automotive embedded system. Using reports, I can easily cut through the complexity of this huge project that involves lots of requirements, team members, and processes. In this example, I want to make sure I'm always up to date with the performance of my software development unit. Specifically, I need a report that informs me about the status of software requirements that my team hasn't yet turned into code. To do this, I will first select my auto project and in it, the software requirements tracker. Hitting go will simply list all my software requirements. I'm looking for items that my team has not yet started working on. So I'll need to filter these results to only display items that do not have downstream references. So I will select has downstream reference and set the condition to false, then click on go and check the results. To make this easier to overview, I want to group my results by status. So I will simply drag and drop status from the selection list on the left hand side to my group by option. It would be nice to see how long these items have been ignored. So using another drag and drop movement, I will order these results based on their submitted at fields. Let's check the results again. It's getting better, but there's information here that I don't really need in the report right now. So I will just remove some columns that are irrelevant and add a new one to show me the story point values of these requirements. Let's summarize these points by each status group. For more sophisticated reports, I can always switch to advanced mode and use CodeBeamer's MySQL based scripting language. But for now, this reports exactly what I was looking for. So I'll first save it and set access rights to make sure that software coordinators can also see my report. I can also export this report using a custom template and send it to other stakeholders. This one's a handy report that provides useful and always up-to-date information, so I want to make sure it's used accordingly. I'll set up a job to have this report automatically sent to software coordinators once a month. While software coordinators appreciate the detailed information with all the item names in my report, management needs a higher level report. Using the dashboard functionality of CodeBeamer's analytics features, I can easily visualize the data in my report so that it's easier to overview. This dashboard will greatly support decision making with aggregated and visual information. To create a dashboard, I will navigate to my wiki and create a new child dashboard. After saving it, I can select from several widgets to accurately visualize the information in my report. In this example, I'm going to use a bar chart to show me the number of requirements and different statuses that have no downstream references. To do this, I'll add a chart, name it, choose my report as the data source, and pick the bar chart style widget. I want to group the results by their statuses. And I want to make sure my chart displays the total number of story points for each status. I can see on the chart's preview that this is just what I'm looking for. So let me save this chart and move on to formatting my dashboard. This chart is useful, but management will need some information on not only the items without downstream references, but the overall performance of my development project. Specifically, they will want to see a burndown chart and release statistics. Since I want to add the other KPIs and statistics to my dashboard, I will first modify its layout using the layout icon. Now I'm going to add another widget with a burndown chart. Let's also add a release statistics widget 
so that management can monitor development performance. To do this, I will select Release Status under the Agile tab. I need to pick the project and release about which I'd like to visualize information. Before saving, I'm going to click over to Preview. This looks correct, so let's save it. This way, you can easily build and customize configured dashboards to monitor KPIs and the progress of your projects. If necessary, you can also limit user permissions to access this dashboard under Properties.